So as we've been creating our pieces, we have these tools and cups that um, have accumulated resin on them. So the thing I like about the silicone stir sticks is you can just peel the resin off for the most part sometimes. They do have a shelf life, so eventually you do start getting bits of it as you're um, taking the resin off. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so you do want to be careful with that. For doing these sticks, I do tend to like to do them when the resin is like just cured, so like 24 hours after I've done it, just because the resin tends to be softer and it's easier to take off, in my opinion. But those are great for that. If you use some um, popsicle sticks, wooden sticks, that sort of thing, you can't take the resin off. It just, like you can take it off to a point, but um, what I tend to like to do is just kind of trim them a little bit just so that I can use them again. I try to like, I try to use them as many times as I can before throwing them away. So I'll just trim around them just to kind of make it a little bit neater. I wanna make sure that I'm able to scrape the bottoms and the sides as I'm, as I'm um, mixing my resin, which is why I do trim them. So for the cups, I like these um, more flexible cups. I find that the resin is a little bit easier to get off of them. So there's usually a disc that accumulates at the bottom, no matter how carefully you pour your resin and no matter how much you think you've gotten out of your cup, there's always a little disc at the bottom. So I like to roll them in my hands like this. And then I take duct tape. And I've tried this with packing tape as well and it works, but I find duct tape to be a little bit quicker. It's just a little bit, um, got a little bit more stickiness to it. So I'll take the piece of tape wrap it around my fingers with the sticky side facing out and then I'll go through the inside like this and I'll do it on both sides to use as much of the tape as possible and that tends to pick off all of the little drips that have accumulated in there and you might have seen me before I was doing this that just loosens them so you may be able to use a piece of tape on more than one cup but typically I find that after one cup it gets it loses its stickiness so I'll grab a new piece of tape. You could, if you wanted, just use your fingers and pick out the little bits and pieces that have accumulated in the cup, but I do find that gets a little bit tedious. And this is just a quicker, easier way to get them all out. And then make sure that they've been removed around the rims too. You wanna make sure that all of those things are out because if you put another make another batch of resin in here and there's some of those bits in there, it does affect your resin cure. You'll get little bumps um, in your resin that it looks like, um, it looks like there's something in your resin. It will be obvious that there's something that's not quite right. Um, and they're easy to pick out for the most part, but you wanna take them out ahead of time just so you have less to try to keep out of your resin when it's curing. And you can do the outsides too, but I usually don't worry too much about the outsides because obviously that's not where you're mixing your resin. All right, that one is done. So our tools are now ready for our next project. Just realized I forgot the painter's pyramids. So as you're working on your piece, your resin will accumulate around these as well. They take a little bit of working, but usually you can just pull the resin off of them. And even if they accumulate around those little things there. I find that I typically can get them off. I haven't had one yet that I haven't been able to get off, but it does take a little bit of working around. This, that side is always the easiest, the side that doesn't have the little, I don't know what those things are called. So like I said, you will have to work it a little bit, but I do get the resin off. There we go, so it's done. This side come, or the inside comes right off and then I typically don't even worry. I'm more, um, even if I bend or twist that, it's not gonna affect anything. So there we go. And you just do that for all four.